For this week's Generation Rock, we take you to Penfield High School to sit in on a very special class. It was one organized by a senior student trying to teach her peers how to spot and stop discrimination. It really is bothersome to see hate in my community, and especially from peers like myself, when I know that that hate is not rooted in them and we can work with education to take it out. 18-year-old Maya Duhan is taking her classmates to school by inviting them to hear from first-hand survivors of hate. Maya took the initiative to find Jackie Serfati Desenza, inviting her to share her life with Maya's classmates at Penfield High. I am a second-generation survivor, meaning um, my parents were Holocaust survivors and I was born in a DP camp. For an hour, Serfati Desenza spoke to the riveted students telling them how her parents were rounded up as Jews, survived Auschwitz, and struggled to go on in a displaced persons camp after World War II ended. In my early years, there was a lack of food, a lack of um, medical help. Uh, education was really not much. Maya says this type of education helped her when she first became a youth ambassador for the Levine Center to End Hate a few years ago. I was able to hear a survivor speak and share her story and it was very impactful for me to hear that and I previously had no knowledge of you know like this issue specifically anti-semitism so after hearing that I realized that maybe a lot of people in my community also didn't have a lot of knowledge about this issue and that ignorance is what was perpetuating it. So ever since she's been taking it upon herself to share the same chances to learn. She says it's especially important as tensions rise around the world to remember history and how to keep it from repeating. A saying in the camps, and I still remember it, was a chant, liberated but not free. Because it was almost 75 years ago, the students think it's just a line in a history book and they can't put it in context with current events or local events or what's happening on the global surface. I think some people want to shy away from things and wait until it cools down before they begin advocating for that issue, but I think it's most important that we have these conversations right now so that we can take action or we can provide students with the ability to take action. And a great job from Maya organizing this all on her own for her peers. She's got another class she just did as well on bullying. Very important in schools. Now, if you know a young person making a difference in our community, they've just got an interesting story to share. Let us highlight them here on News 8. They deserve some love. So send us that email, news, the number 8, sunrise at wroctv.com.